Viewer Terrier Dog Breed, 10 Amazing Facts You Must Know. Viewer Terriers are tiny dogs with huge personalities. So what is a Viewer Terrier? And do they make good pets? You'll find out after you watch this video. 1. What's a Viewer Terrier Dog? A Viewer Terrier, pronounced Bia Ver, is a small teacup dog. They are bred to resemble tiny Yorkshire Terriers. The best way to describe these dogs is, they look like the Yorkie of the 1960s. The Viewer often known as the Yorkie Terrier Yorkie or Yorkie Yorkie, is a mix of a Yorkshire Terrier and a Terrier. Because viewers are descended from Yorkshire Terriers, they share many of the famous breed's charming characteristics. Viewer Terriers are lovely companion pets who get on well with both children and other animals. The Viewer Terrier breed is descended from the Yorkshire Terrier. The Yorkshire Terrier is a small, white dog breed with tan markings on its body and saddle. During the 1980s, however, a unique, piebald, variation began to grow in popularity. In 1984, multiple Yorkshire Terriers with a genetic abnormality for piebald coloring were bred to produce a piebald Yorkshire Terrier puppy. Schneefleck and von Friedheck was the first Buer Terrier, and the name was bestowed to him due to its puffy hair. 2. What does Buer Terrier look like? The Buer Terrier is well known for its flat body, large eyes. They usually stand between 8 to 10 inches, 20 to 25 centimeters, tall. These little guys are sturdy boned with an average life expectancy of an button nose. These small dogs weigh about 4 to 7 pounds, 1.8 to 3.2 kilograms. Their flat, level backs and stout legs give them a toy terrier appearance. Their coats are either white or gray slash silver with black modeling. Solid colored viewers have dark patches around their eyes and ears. The hair on the head is short and fine, while that on the body is long and dense. Viewer terriers resemble Yorkshire terriers, but they're different in a few ways. For example, viewer terriers weigh much less than Yorkies, and their hair is longer and silkier. Viewer terriers have distinctively almond-shaped eyes that are either round or almond-shaped, and they gaze straight ahead. The eyes are typically a dark brown with black rims. Viewer's ears are always drooping limply and are covered with fine hair that must be trimmed regularly. Its shoulders should be at the same level as its hindquarters, and its legs and back should be strong. A viewer terrier's feet are tiny and cute, with black or white toenails. You're better off avoiding ribbons in your pet viewer's hair and even putting him in little clothing, even though you may be tempted to do so. Never let yourself be persuaded to paint your dog's nails with a human polish because it is dangerous. 3. Do viewer terriers shed? Viewer terriers do not shed, but they do blow their coats twice a year. This means that your pet will look shaggy and unkempt for about two weeks as his old coat falls out and the new one begins to grow in. During this time, viewers need an increased amount of grooming, and it's important to brush their teeth daily. 4. How often should you bathe a viewer terrier? Viewer terriers should be bathed about once a month. It's essential to use only tear-free shampoo and rinse the dog thoroughly. Don't worry about your viewer getting cold after has been in the bathtub his temperature won't drop significantly until water evaporates from his coat. Aside from brushing and washing your Buer Terrier's coat regularly, you must also take care of its ears, teeth, and nails. Wax and debris should be removed from the ears. To avoid breaking and splitting, keep your pet's nails short. It's unpleasant for you or your furniture if your pet scratches you or it. Because small dogs are more susceptible to dental disease than big breeds, you should brush your Buer Terrier's teeth twice a week. If you don't know what toothpaste to use on your Buer Terrier, inquire about it with your dentist or try homemade baking soda paste or coconut oil. 5. How much exercise does a Buer Terrier need? As pups, Buer Terriers require about 45 minutes of activity each day, whereas adults require only 30 minutes. If you spend time rolling a ball around the floor, playing hide-and-seek, or even teaching him new commands, your Buer does not have to be taken out for a walk. You may stroll your Buer Terrier around a shopping mall or up and down the corridors of your apartment complex if the weather is terrible. The Buer isn't a breed that needs to sniff and claim territory outside or dash through fields off-leash. If you give your dog enough time and attention for a once-daily walk or romp, it will be just as delighted to spend time inside the premises. It will make your pet ecstatic if you allow him to run free outside. Make sure it's a secure, enclosed yard or dog park only. The Buer's ability to socialize with other dogs is a bonus, but you don't want him to engage in activities that put him in danger of being hit by a vehicle. 6. What do Buer Terriers eat? Buer Terriers have delicate digestive systems and require careful feeding. This is not a breed that thrives on table scraps alone. 
strive to give your Buer Terrier a high-quality, low-protein kibble. Canned foods are not suggested since they can create plaque on the teeth of dogs. Buer Terriers have tiny stomachs, which means they can only consume and process small amounts of food at each meal. As a result, for this breed, leaving food in the dish all the time is acceptable, allowing your Buer Terrier to eat whenever it wants. However, keep an eye on your pet's weight and look for symptoms of obesity. Stop giving your Buer Terrier free rein to eat and switch to a feeding regime of 2-3 to three meals a day if he or she appears overly plump. When it comes to meals, let your Buer Terrier eat as much as he wants, but after has finished, take the bowl away until it's time to eat again. 7. What's the temperament of the Buer Terrier like? Buer Terriers are lively, affectionate dogs. They make excellent companions for people of all ages with their mellow natures. These tiny dogs are smart and eager to learn. As a result, they're easy to train. Because of their love for people, viewers can be clingy at times though this is usually limited to their owner. However, this also means that they should be supervised with small children because of their small size. They do well in homes or apartments as long as they get daily exercise and interaction with their owners. Viewers are good watchdogs alerting you when strangers approach your home because of their love for people and tendency to bark at strangers. They are very friendly, but they should socialize early with other dogs and people to avoid aggressive behaviors as they get older. Viewer terriers are low-energy dogs who only need a moderate amount of exercise daily. A good daily walk or jog is sufficient for these small dogs unless you have an extremely active lifestyle. Their long coats are low-shedding and don't require extensive grooming. They need to be brushed regularly, however, because their coats can get knotted. The Buer Terrier Club of America strongly encourages gloves when petting your dog to prevent transferring oils from human fingers onto their coat which could make them lose their hair. Buer Terriers are loyal and devoted, but they may be stubborn from time to time. When training them and laying house rules, be consistent and persistent. Never feed table scraps to your pet or allow them to get under your covers if you don't want them to beg at the dinner table or sleep with you in bed. Once you allow your Buer Terrier to get what he wants, he will never stop trying to win you over with his cuteness to get what he wants over and over again. 8. What are the health concerns for Buer Terriers? Unfortunately, most purebred dogs have a high risk of developing genetic disorders due to inbreeding. For this reason, viewers may be more likely than other breeds to suffer from epilepsy or eye problems such as cataracts and glaucoma. Buer Terriers are also susceptible to progressive retinal atrophy, a degenerative eye disease that causes blindness in both eyes. Furthermore, obesity can cause serious health problems in viewers, such as heart disease and diabetes, if their diets aren't carefully monitored. Patellar luxation, Lecalvapertis disease, portosystemic shunts, bladder stones, and tracheal collapse are the most prevalent genetic conditions seen in the breed. Dystochiasis and hypoglycemia are two additional disorders that this breed is prone to. While Buer Terriers are at risk for some of these conditions, it doesn't mean they will develop them. It simply means they have an increased chance of developing them than dogs without the breed's genetic history. 9. How big do Buer Terriers get? Buer Terriers are tiny canines with delicate bones. They usually reach 7 to 11 inches and weigh between 4.5 and 8 pounds when fully grown. Buer Terriers are the tiniest breeds, and the largest is no larger or heavier than a newborn baby. 10. Are Buer Terrier good family dogs? Buer Terriers are wonderful family dogs because of their gentle natures. They also make good watchdogs because they tend to bark at strangers, but they aren't aggressive or snappy. Viewers love everyone, especially kids, and enjoy playing with them. However, supervision is necessary around very small children who may unintentionally harm the dog. Buer Terriers are very sensitive and may perceive pain when a child squeezes them too tightly. Furthermore, they don't do well with children who enjoy teasing dogs by chasing them or poking their eyes, noses, or ears. Although Buer Terriers will bark at strangers and may not be the best guard dogs, they will fiercely defend their families if necessary. It's important to socialize your pet early with other animals and people because his natural friendliness could cause him to be too trusting of others. Buer Terriers are prone to separation anxiety, so it's best if they're never left alone for extended periods. They need to form strong bonds with their owners, or they will become sad or depressed, leading to behavioral problems later on in life. If you're unable to spend a lot of time with your dog, consider adopting two pets so they can keep each other company while you're gone. Buer Terriers are extremely affectionate and love to cuddle up on the couch or in bed with their owners. They also enjoy going for walks and playing outside. If you have a yard, 
be sure to keep your Buer Terrier leashed because hell love chasing squirrels and other small animals. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching.